guys what's going on so tonight's dinner i'm going to be making uh marinated butternut squash zoodles and it's just going to be a real simple recipe that i'm making um sometimes i really do like to have simplicity so just a simple recipe that you could toss together real quick if you're short on time something quick and cheap to make so please just stay tuned Okay guys, so I was able to finish fiberizing the butternut squash noodles. And as you can see, it's a nice amount in here. Um, I will be taking this piece out. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you real quick. So I have some, I have one green onion and several herbs that I chopped up. So I have some basil and some culantro. So culantro is the most natural state of cilantro um so i was able to find some culantro but if you don't have culantro you can use cilantro a few leaves of cilantro um if you are 100 percent like if you really really follow the alkaline list completely don't use cilantro just use the basil um and you can use the dry herbs like uh the dill weed cayenne uh, oregano some sea salt and some olive oil which I will be using anyway so yeah um, I researched as far as culantro it's like um, the most natural state of cilantro uh, you can find it more so in the Mexican area so I like cilantro with certain herbs I still use um, like uh, like culantro because I just feel they'll benefit my body. So let me mix it all together guys. One moment. Okay guys, so I put all my ingredients in my butternut squash zoodle dish and now I'm just going to mix it together. Um, now I can't give you measurements, I'm sorry, I just am unable to give you measurements but I eye everything so if I feel as though that I need more ingredients as far as like the dry seasonings or more olive oil to this dish, I'll add it. But the only thing I can say is if you are making one of my dishes, less is more sometimes. So don't put a lot of spices or a lot of oil in your dish because you don't want to ruin a dish. Sometimes you just want to put less and then add additional if you need it. Um, and I don't have my tongs. I cannot find them at all. So I had to improvise tonight with a fork. <laughs> which is okay too so um, yeah so I just want to make sure all the zoodles get a little bit of oil and spices on them so it's coming out very beautifully and like I said you can have this as a main dish or as a side dish that's your discretion me tonight I was thinking about making some marinated kale with this but I really kind of don't feel like it. <laughs> so this might be dinner and that's fine. Got some coconut water. I'll let this sit for at least 10 minutes. And no, this is not cold. I let the uh, butternut squash sit for room temperature. I don't really like my items real cold. <laughs> Although I eat raw, I really don't like it cold. So this is the finished product guys. So it looks scrumptious. Look like it's full of life and tasty. 
So if you're not a raw vegan and you wanted to try this dish, I would say maybe saute the butternut squash for about five minutes so it could still have the raw crunch to it um, with light grapeseed oil. And you can add the same ingredients that you added if you wanted the softer butternut squash. But if you are a raw vegan and you wanted to try this recipe, I highly recommend it. Um, I was playing around with butternut squash and I made this recipe and I absolutely love it. So guys, good night and thank you for tuning in.